SE200 added the ability to create raw strings, where backslashes and quote marks are interpreted as those literal symbols rather than escape characters or string terminators. This makes a number of use cases more easy, but regular expressions in particular will benefit. To use raw strings, place one or more hash or pound symbols before your string, like this. Let rain equals hash quote, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the Spaniards, quote hash. The hash symbols at the start and end of the string become part of the string delimiter, so Swift understands that the standalone quote marks around rain and Spain should be treated as literal quote marks rather than ending the string in the middle. Raw strings allow you to use backslashes too. Let key pass equals hash quote, Swift key pass such as backslash person.name hold uninvoked references to properties, quote hash. That treats the backslash as being a literal character in the string rather than an escape character. This in turn means that string interpolation works differently. Let answer equals 42. Let dope panic equals the answer to life, the universe and everything is backslash hash parens answer parens. A regular backslash parens answer parens will be interpreted as characters in the string. So when you want string interpolation to happen in a raw string, you must add the extra hash. One of the most interesting features of Swift's raw strings is the use of hash symbols at the start and end because you can use more than one in the unlikely event you'll need to. It's hard to provide a good example here because it really ought to be extremely rare, but consider this string. My dog said, quote, woof, quote, hash, good dog. Like a hashtag on Twitter. Because there's no space before the hash, Swift will see, quote, hash, and immediately interpret it as a string terminator. In this situation, we need to change our delimiter from hash, quote, to hash hash quote, like this. Let stir equals hash hash quote. My dog said, quote woof quote, hashtag good dog, quote hash hash. Notice how the number of hashes at the end must match the number at the start. Raw strings are fully compatible with Swift's multi-line string system. Just use hash quote 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 to start, then quote 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 hash to end, like this. Let multiline equals hash quote quote quote. The answer to life, the universe, and everything is backslash hash parens answer parens. Then to end the string, quote 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 hash. Being able to do without lots of backslashes will prove particularly useful in regular expressions. For example, writing a simple regex to find key paths such as backslash person.name used to look like this. Let regex1 equals, quote, four backslashes, then at least one uppercase character, then one or more upper or lowercase characters, then two backslashes, period, a literal period, then one or more lowercase characters. Thanks to raw strings, we can write the same thing with half the number of backslashes. We still need some, because regular expressions use them too.